Hi, I wanted to create a video about a few questions I got about Microsoft Access. So one question was, um, why in some cases are you able to sort things from A to Z or from Z to A, and in other fields it's grayed out or disabled and you don't have the sort option either to the right of the column with that pull down menu or up here. So the answer to that is if you look at the design of the table, um, there's a couple ways to do that, but I'm going to go to the view pull down menu in the upper left corner and I'm going to choose design view. So here I can see in this little um, table that I made, made up just to show the example that there's different data types here. We've got a long text data type and a short text and I am able to sort by alphabet uh, upper to lower, or A to Z, Z to A, if it's short text, but if it's long text, I'm not. So uh, short text has a maximum size of 255 characters. In my example, there's no reason that the comments shouldn't be short text as well. And if I change it to short text, um, it'll give me a warning because if I had anything that was longer than 255 characters, it'll be truncated, but in this case, None of my comments were longer than that, so I'm going to switch it to short text, jump over to the data sheet view, and I'll definitely save that table. I'm going to look at the warning, but I'm going to know that it doesn't affect me because my data is only one character long here. So now that this comments is a short text instead of long text, then I no longer have this disabled. I can now sort it from A to Z and Z to A, and the same thing with the source. The second question I got was how to create an update query. So I've got this fake data and let's say I want to replace the source um, with, um, with a predetermined field. So I'm going to create a query. I'll go to the create tab and then I'm going to click query design, double click on my table, which is test. And then I'm going to select whatever fields I want to work with. So I'm going to select really the source field is the one I wanted to update here. And I'm going to click right above, uh, right above the table, there's an update button. And I'm going to select that. And that will change what's appearing in this grid here. And I now have an update too. So if I wanted to say the source, all of these, these three records were all based on a form 5200, then I would just fill that in in the update field. And so once I hit run for this query, it's going to warn me that what I'm doing is going to change the database. I'm not just looking at it, I'm making updates to it. And I'm going to update three rows, so I'll hit yes. And then when I go back, I can go back and look at this now, then notice that all three of those source fields are changed to the form 5200. So if you had hundreds of records here and you wanted to update all of the fields to a certain value, you could really save yourself a lot of typing.